What a country. What a country. From a foster kid failing in fifth grade to standing before you as a candidate for United States Senate. My father died in June of 2002. I wish he could be here to see this. But he believed in America. And when you go into the voting booth on June 12th, you've got a very sacred decision to make. We all say that we're the best one to go a bit up against Tim Kaine. You have to make that decision. You have to decide who has the ability to articulate our conservative message, not just to us, we're convinced, but to all the people who are yet unconvinced. A young man I met named Cody who said, I'm just coming to try to figure out what the issues are. Uh, to the people who have been told we're against them, we're bigots, we're haters, and yet they share all of our values and they celebrate them every Sunday morning. Who, like Ronald Reagan, when the political insiders and experts say, uh, don't call it an evil empire, uh, don't, don't say bring down this wall, will stand up and say, liberalism is a wall that has been built for the last generation in this country and it is an evil empire that must be brought down. Who is prepared to say that? This is not a battle of left against right, this is a battle of good against evil. And we have ultimately got to fight for the freedom of our country because that is what's made this nation great. Now all of us have got to come together. We've got to unify. We've got to make up our minds that we're going to fulfill the vision no matter what they say of one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And that working together, this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. That government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. I ask for your prayers first and foremost. I ask for your vote. And I ask for you to be an ambassador to a movement that is going to take Virginia back to the place where it leads the nation back to freedom.